It's your boy King Bloods back with those exclusives. Welcome to the channel where we make no excuses. Shout out all artists, engineers, and producers. And I'm back with another video. Y'all know what's going on. In today's video, we're going to talk about the difference between Mixcraft 10 Recording Studio and Mixcraft 10 Pro Studio. Let's get into it. Before we jump in the video, I need to jump on here and let you know I do mix and master, man. If you need a song mix and master, feel free to reach out to me at roadrunningbuzz at gmail.com. That's roadrunningbuzz at gmail.com. I do sell vocal presets. You feel me? The link is usually below. You know what I mean? So just let me know whatever you need. But I do mix and master, man. You need a song mix and master. You need that professional sounding A1 sauce. Please hit your boy up. I am in business. I need your business. Let's get the business. You feel me? Let's get into the video. As you can see in recording studio, you don't have all the plugins that we have inside of Pro Studio. All right. So, Cherry Audio, you got the Stardust Tape Echo and uh, Galactica Reverb in Pro Studio. You don't have that in recording studio. And you can see a lot of the stuff we do have. All these um, TB plugins, we did have these in Mixcraft 9, so these aren't new, all right? So they just kept those, as you can see. Boom, you got Acoustica, uh, Band EQ, Acoustica Pro Reverb, Acoustica uh, Vocoder. Um, it's a lot of stuff that we had. I definitely remember having these in Mixcraft nine pro studio so a lot of this stuff i'm not seeing new you know what i mean like as you can see it say new right here like these are new we didn't have these before all right a lot of this stuff we already had in mixcraft nine pro studio so as far as like plugins there's not like a big difference a lot of these we already had obviously the ones that they put new by are the ones that we didn't have. We never had. All right. So, boom. If you're wondering what new effects we got, we only really got two new effects, um, which is cool. You know what I mean? But, you know, usually we do get a lot more. Usually we get like at least probably 10 new effects. But this time we are we only got two. We got Cherry Audio. And if you didn't know, Cherry Audio that company is the same people who own Mixcraft, all right? So, yeah, let's go up here to instruments, right? So, you got Cherry Audio. As you can see, all the new stuff that we acquired is from Cherry Audio. So, they're just implementing their own products in their other product, <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is pretty smart. So, as you can see, these are all the things that we have in Pro Studio that you don't have in Recording Studio, right? So, like, like I said, the new Cherry Audio, um, the piano, like I said, if it don't say new by it, we had the same stuff in 9. This, this ain't new, bro. Like, we had the same stuff in Mixcraft 9. So, yeah, so boom, as you can see right there. But this is just the difference between the two. Like, you do get a lot more when you have pro studio you know what i mean and then when it uh the musicians free in mixcraft store obviously we both all get all the free stuff so you ain't got to worry about that and then up here what you got um what are you missing track regions select drag and drop cop and copy groups of clips and tracks including their automations right a lot of people uh, I think this is a cool feature, but a lot of people bring it to my attention like, bro, other dolls, that's standard, you know what I mean? So, a lot of people feel like this feature right here shouldn't only be for Pro Studio. Like, that's standard. Like, you should be able to do that no matter the version, and uh, I can see that for sure. Uh, what else you got? Advanced MIDI and output recording and routing. Wait, so a lot of people have been having problems with routing um uh, their midi um controllers their akai minis or whatever now that i'm looking at this i'm starting to put two and two together that a lot of people may have recording studio and they're trying to do stuff that we do in recording studio which is why it isn't working but this is also another feature that 
personally, I feel like this should just be standard. Like, I shouldn't have to have the top of the line version to be able to route my MIDI keyboard or whatever I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I don't necessarily agree with that. But, uh, what else? They updated music notation, step editor, piano roll editor. Uh, maybe we'll dive into that a little later, you know, in some videos. Um, I got to uh, do my Mixcraft 10 one month review. I'm going to be dropping that soon. It might be after this video. Um, yeah, but what else we got? All these ones that say new or updated, that's what's important. So you got integrated Mixcraft store, which uh, I've seen a lot of love-hate relationships with that already. Some people are here for it. Some people just feel like it's just going to make Mixcraft run slower because now you got more stuff that has to load or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, scalable interface um, I'm not even sure exactly what the scalable interface is um, like what part of the inner like I don't know we check that out controller scripts API custom hotkey assignments drag-and-drop automation uh, updated plugin manager better search and organization with uh, optional safe mode uh, I, I do like the way that the new plugin manager looks. It looks really clean and just well put together. Um, project start window with live links to news, videos, sales. All right. Yeah, that was pretty dope. That's kind of smart on them business wise to just when you load up Mixcraft, you'll see what's new. Um, uh, anything they want to promote, they kind of just put it there. And uh, it's pretty smart on their behalf. You know what I mean? But as you can see. A lot of this stuff we already had, and we definitely do have some new stuff, but it isn't like, it isn't like a complete 180, you know what I mean? Like, we didn't just completely go in a different direction, you know what I mean? We kind of did a 360, like, we, we did turn it around, but we kind of still in the same direction, you know what I mean? We got a lot of the same stuff, but, you know what I mean? We did add a few other little tools to the toolbox, which is cool. So this is really the comparison and the differences. A lot of people want to know what's the major um, jump from 9 to 10. And in my opinion, is really just the stability and how it runs. And I haven't really had much issues with how it runs and my plugins crashing. I haven't had those problems. Uh, as far as effects and plugins, you didn't really get too many new effects and plugins. But um, for what it's worth, it's all right. You know what I mean? So hopefully this video will help you. Until next time, we'll keep growing. We'll keep going strong. I know what's going on. It's your boy King Buzz, and I'm out of here. Yeah.